Welcome back to the channel, I'm Cardstocks, and I want to tell you about a personal collection that I've been working on for quite a while now. The collection is a compilation of all of the greatest centers in the history of the sport of basketball. That includes collegiate, NBA, ABA, international leagues, and WNBA. It is a collection that even getting organized is going to take me a lifetime. However, my hope is that it will be one of the greatest position collections in hobby history. Today, I will show you the card and career of a Portland Trail Blazers and Tennessee State alumni that I have had the pleasure of learning about and interacting with, Lloyd Neal. Lloyd Neal was born in Talbaton, Georgia in the year 1950. Lloyd grew up having never participated in basketball until he was a junior in high school. Neal says he never even considered playing basketball until he was aware that it could earn him a college scholarship and a chance to make it out of his small town in Georgia. When he started playing for Ruth Carter High School, it was clear that Neal was naturally gifted at the game. In Lloyd's senior season at Ruth Carter, he would average 38 points and 20 rebounds a game. Neal would receive several college scholarships from universities in Tennessee, but would ultimately choose Tennessee State University. Neal would dominate for TSU, leading his team to three NCAA playoffs in his tenure, also making the all-tournament team in 1971 and 1972. TSU held a record of 95-25 and 25 while Neal played for the team, and he would become the university's all-time leading rebounder and fourth all-time in scoring. When Neal was drafted to the Portland Trail Blazers in 1972, he couldn't point to Portland on a map. Lloyd had doubts about playing in the NBA because the salary was not much more than a regular paying job, but took the risk to play for the team. The risk for the Trail Blazers paid off immediately as Neal would average a double-double with 13.4 points and 11.8 rebounds a game in his rookie season. He started for the team in 81 of their 82 games and made the all-rookie team for his efforts, ultimately falling short to Bob McAdoo for Rookie of the Year. Neal became a trailblazer staple for the decade, backing up NBA Hall of Famers Maurice Lucas and Bill Walton. With a gritty, hard-nosed style of play, Neal would earn himself the club record for rebounds in a single season in 1972. In 1977, the Portland Trailblazers would win the NBA championship, and though Neal did not participate but three games in those playoffs, he provided a significant boost off the bench in the regular season, with multiple 30-plus point games. Two seasons later in 1979, Neal would retire from the NBA due to knee injuries. Lloyd Neal's number 36 would be the first number ever retired by the Portland Trailblazers. Lloyd still sits at 9th all-time in career rebounds for the Portland Trailblazers and 5th in defensive rating. Lloyd would ultimately go back to college in 1980 to finish his education, and now works for the Portland branch of the Internal Revenue Service. He has worked for the IRS for 37 years. The latest addition to the Lloyd Neal PC is his first licensed rookie card, a 1973 Topps. This card features a great studio shot of Neil, and this copy has been graciously signed by Lloyd Neal himself. This completes Lloyd Neal's significant card run for me, but I'd love to one day add a rookie season ticket. Thank you for watching another installment of my Center's collection, and thank you to Lloyd Neal for the autographed card. Much appreciated. This is Cardstock signing off. See you guys in the next video.